Hey, good morning, everybody. So today, I'm going to be going through that bright orange trailer over there, right next to our purple trailer. Uh, but before we begin, I just wanted to talk about uh, our YouTube channel. So uh, right now, we're going on, I think, six days of shooting daily videos. And uh, we kind of just want to hear what you guys think. Uh, we, we love the feedback. We want to know what you guys want to see as well. So we have a couple videos planned. Uh, we're going to be doing a complete walkthrough of the trailer in like extreme detail. Uh, but that's going to be way too long for one video. So we're probably going to be splitting it up into a couple videos. Uh, and we'll kind of go through like some hacks and some things that we think uh, should be on every trailer. Like what we recommend the options should be. Uh, but also I want to go through things that we include in the trailer that maybe we don't say. Uh, just because we believe every trailer should have them. You know, like kind of uh, you know, no no choice uh, option, like uh, something as simple as the back jack, the you know the stabilizing jack. I think every single trailer that is sold, you know, not just by us, but we include it as standard. But every other trailer that's sold by other companies should include a stabilizing jack, uh, which apparently some of them don't, from what I've heard, which is uh, I guess an interesting choice, but. I want to go through the orange trailer in more detail and if you like these videos you know definitely just subscribe like our channel uh, we're definitely still going on uh, daily uploads so we're gonna be doing much more of these and you get to see some of the process so you can see over there we're actually welding a frame right now and because the weather is so nice outside we're actually doing it outside uh, and that's something maybe some of you guys might not know we weld our frames all from scratch so th the steel tubes are all welded by us and they're you know prepared by us they're painted and coated and everything so the trailers that we build are all I would say very much from scratch aside from like the windows and doors and you can see our shop cats very curious already so let me give you guys and this is gonna be like a quick sort of overview because uh, I'm going to go much more in-depth into what's, what's actually in this trailer. Uh, but something we realized is we actually never introduced this model. So this is a very, um, I guess, very popular model at this point. Uh, and we haven't released it and introduced it to YouTube or really even Facebook. So I want to give you guys a look at it from here. And let me bring it over to the purple one. And let's see if you guys could guess what the difference is just by looking at it. And I'm going to tell you guys as well. But this model right here is our Serenity. Most people know it as the biggest model that we do. So it's 5 foot wide, 8 foot long. This model right here is called the Gypsy. And this is 6 foot wide and 8 foot long. So if you guys look inside here, you'll probably notice a little more. It is like a living room in here. I've lived in a bedroom that was smaller than this. It's amazing. So some of the options that are in this trailer, you can see we got the climate control vents. There's one on this side, one on the other side. One works as an intake, one works as an outtake. We have the solar package with a JVC radio. There's a solar charge control. You can see it's very bright and sunny outside, so it's working on charging the battery. Over here towards the back, it's got the kitchenette. And one question we get about the kitchenette is how much space does it take out off the floor? And the answer is it doesn't take any floor space, technically. Uh, it takes airspace, if you want to think of it that way, uh, because the floor, you know, inside here, is still about eight feet, uh, and you got basically a one foot raise from the floor here up to the top of the kitchen. So the kitchen is kind of a, a floating design, and we really wanted to do something like that, uh, mainly because we don't want to take away from floor space. You know, if someone wanted to, you know, your feet could extend underneath there and you could have some pillows put over here. So you, you really do have, you know, all of the eight feet 
uh, that is in the trailer. And we have some customers that also put like storage baskets there. So you could really, you know, kind of figure out your own way of using that space. Uh, we also have the underfloor storage there. I'm going to show you guys from the other side. Uh, but that's all from this side for now. I guess I'll go through this as well. I'm going to go through some of the hidden features or you know, at least what we think should be standard features um, in another video. But this store, you can see that red lever. That is a deadbolt lock. And that is standard on every single trailer, every single door that we put on the trailer. So it's kind of something that we think that is a no-brainer um, no option uh, that every manufacturer should include. So you could lock this trailer from inside, be safe inside, and it actually has two locks. So you, here's a second lock right here. This, this lock locks this lever from moving, and then the deadbolt locks it all together into the frame so it, you can't pull it out and you can hear the two clicks from the door and that just means both of them are engaged on this option you could also see we got the awning this is a six foot long awning uh, i believe they're currently having a supply issue uh, this company that we use and we use them mainly because their their awnings are pretty good quality uh, and they have a lot of options for them uh, so this one's six foot long still a really great awning because it's six foot long but it goes out in front of the trailer eight feet so you have a six by eight trailer and then you have a six by eight room attached to it so it's awesome right here on the top we got the roof racks and let me go through the inside here and then i'll go into the kitchen as well i'm gonna have more in-depth videos on each of these things as well but uh, if you guys have any recommendations or you, you want to see something in particular in much more uh, detail definitely just give us a comment and uh, we'll definitely do it next time because uh, we, we do shoot daily uh, videos so we want we want as much content as possible here's the underfloor storage lots of room down there and you got two of those now let's go into the front where you got the basket, spare tire. This is the front stabilizing jack. That's also a standard option, which we think is kind of a no-brainer uh, since that's kind of like the way you move it around. And this trailer is still light enough to move around by hand. I mean, we, we move it around all the time. Like, we weld them there, we finish them inside. And then if they're done and they're ready to be picked up, like this is going to be picked up uh, very soon, they're uh, locked up and kept here. And we do bring them inside to our uh, storage room right there. So we don't leave them all the time. You got the diamond plate in the front. And you got the solar panel. It was a little bit of a drizzle when we brought it out this morning. So it's got some water still on it. But let's check out the back here. So we got the kitchen. And the kitchen as well has a lock and key. Let's open it up. And this kitchen, you got a lot of space in the width of the kitchen. So you could put a lot of things in here. And you got the table that folds out. And this is the standard way the kitchen looks basically, except for that inside table. Actually, let me show you guys that too. So that's the that's the cutout for the inside table that folds out on the inside let me go through that so that folds out on the inside right there so it kind of turns into like an eating table or even like a kitchen access so if it's the way I like to think about it is uh, if it's raining outside and don't want to leave the trailer you could reach into the kitchen with that access and uh, still make your own morning coffee. So that, that's how I like to think about it, at least. So yeah, that's a, a fairly basic overview of what's on this trailer. And I'm going to be doing a lot more in-depth stuff. You know, this, this trailer has 15-inch tires, which is standard. 
It's got the diamond plate fenders. So I'll be going into depth on a lot of the stuff that's on this trailer. Uh, but I'm curious to think, uh, curious to hear if you guys have any questions about it. Uh, if you guys want to see, you know, a particular option in more detail. If you want us to walk through something more, uh, we want to hear your feedback on it. And uh, this awesome orange color is actually perfect for the season because uh, we got Halloween coming up and we're going to actually have our own pumpkins uh, out here as well. So this trailer definitely fits the occasion. And I, I, I don't know, the, the combo of purple and orange I think is just amazing. They both are so bright here. And we have the two different sizes, so you could actually see, and when you go into each of them, you see the actual size difference of them. Uh, but you can even see it from the back. You know, from the side, they look the same, because they are the same uh, in terms of length. But their width is so different. Still welding, welding the frame over there. Yep, so that's it for this video. We did the overview. I know we're going to go much more in-depth in the coming days. If you guys like this video, if you guys like our other videos, give us a follow, give us a subscribe, like our videos, and we'll see you guys in the next video.